Hello everyone and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves Blind. On the last episode, we uh, are in the Menace of the North. Menace in the North, A eh? Chapter? Uh, at the Canadian Logging Camp. We, as Murray, did two missions. We headed over to... Uh, what, we do? what was the first mission? We headed over to the RC Combat Club, where... We had to go participate in the RC Combat Club. Unfortunately, we didn't look like a moose, so we had Sly instead uh, head inside the building and seal a moose head that they had for some reason. I hope that wasn't one of their friends, uh, so that we could disguise ourselves as a moose and then win the co win the combat club, so we could find out where the battery was. Hooray! With that knowledge, though, we're doing the second half of preparation, where once again as Murray. We uh, dealt with Grizzleface, the blind giant bear that's in the middle of the level, uh, by luring it over to the oil mains with fish so that it could break them. We broke all four of them, so we now have some updrafts here thanks to the broken things. I guess we'll find out. But on this episode, uh, we're, we're Bentley right now. There's one mission is Bentley. We go hack the boats. There's the boat over there. I remember the boat over here. That also has something. So we'll have to see what those do before we ho before before we uh before I make my uh my feelings cry by stealing an eel egg. I hope we don't do anything bad to it. My logo is an eagle egg. You know what that means? Come on, game. Not eagle egg, eagle feather. Let's just see what we have to do with the boats. Bentley hasn't had any love here. I mean, I, I mean, to be fair, he's cold-blooded. Is our turtles cold-blooded? Which is probably not very healthy for him. I noticed that he's sneezing a lot more, but I'm not sure if that's just like something that was planned or. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. I did have my jetpack, but I forgot. <laughs> If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. I don't know, Sly. Remember how many attempts it took us to catch the last grappling hook that we were shot at by? I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days, my aim is impeccable. Oh, boy. Okay, what do I do again? Alright, Mr. Impeccable Aim. Now to hack the steering controls. Okay, I was gonna wonder if it was a hacking minigame or not. Oh. Uh, can I destroy these green ones? I don't know if I can. They have shields. Oh no, I can. It just takes a long time. Oh, but they're respawning, so there's no point. Silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. I can't wait to fail this somehow. Okay, if I remember correctly, we need to aim like at him and then a little bit above. 
The hook's in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Let's go, Murray. Where's the next boat at? I assume on the water. If it's not, congrats, game. You've confused me. I guess this isn't close enough. I hope this wasn't cl I hope. Uh... <laughs> Are you having trouble, Murray? Don't you dare point me back over there. Oh, well. Poop. Is it this side or is it on top of the building? It's on top of the building. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna book it. We're just gonna book it. I'll tank some hits. Please get rid of the red one. <laughs> Was that one running into the into the side here? Ooh, I can have them run into the balls and have them get hurt. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Where's the third boat at? The second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on empty. <laughs> I drowned it. Oopsies. Last one's over there. Quiet next to the outhouse. Who knows who's next to it? Ow. Thanks, Murray. <laughs> it wasn't his fault at all. Oh, well. I think this is the boat we saw. What the? Oh, no, Manny! I didn't know you were actually here, Manny. Oh. Man, he went a ways. I'm going to have to hop on Manny, aren't I? I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. <laughs> Thank you for the boat ride over. That's so cruel. And I named him too. Why you do this to me, game? Okay, I'm just booking it as fast as I can. Oop. Okay, I'm running into the balls, which is hurting me. Okay, I just ran straight into that that one. Oh god, these ones are taking forever to kill. I kind of committed right there. I went straight for it. Even though there were still some left. Is it that island we're going to, or is it this island we're going to? 
That's the one with the nest. Okay. Ooh, this one's very far away. Super high up. I fail it. Still too high. That did it. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. God, we're getting ever so closer to that 100%. I'm going to be so sad if it doesn't say 100%. Okay, let's go switch back over to Sly. I was wondering which button was my, uh, my jetpack. All right, Sly, your turn. Yeah, a little bit beat up there. Do I have anything to sell? I don't think I do. I do not. Okay, do we do the thermal ride? We do thermal ride first. I'm liking these missions that involve us all. Even if it doesn't say it involves us all. Like, that last one involved every single member. Although, all, all Sly did was catch the hooks. <laughs> That's still something to be proud of, Sly. I was trying to wonder which, what the best path would be to get over here was. I'm glad we knew that the boats are going to come in into play eventually, since we saw the giant computers on them. I wonder how this is going to go. Ooh. That was close. Because we're closer to the uh, island than we are once we start going for some of these... Uh, oil main vents unless we're just trying to build up like momentum because we're supposed to go it's, I, I don't even see the island unless that's nope uh oh it's moving oh that's not good for us in order to overcome Jean Bisson and the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagles' protective instincts against Bisson. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. <laughs> oh, that island moves? I think I might be stuck in place right now, so... How close is too close to the fire? Okay, I'm gonna, I think I need to ride these. Yeah, I need to take these in a giant circle, huh?
Careful, careful. Last thing I want to do is let go of the paraglider and fall straight into the hole. This is some cool height. I can't wait for this to go wrong somewhere. <laughs> my optimism is leaving. My pessimism is coming in full force right now. Will this give us enough altitude to reach it? Ooh, we do have to worry about the giant birds over there, though. Watch out for those eagles. They don't look friendly. Okay. I thought they were just going to fly in a straight line. Not, you know, start turning when they get close to me. That's why I was starting to turn. Like, oh, I'll get, I'll head over here. And then he started heading towards me. It's like, oh, maybe he's supposed to fly this way. <sighs> There's no way I can, I can glide from this one over there, right? I'm, uh, ugh. seems too far away. Also, it's kind of up in the air where the start of it is. I second guessed and I burnt myself. Ooh. It's super sp Audio is spicy. Okay, I don't know what's happening with the audio right now. Has a lovely crackle effect. Ah, okay, that's starting to get real annoying. Not the music, it's the effects. I turned the effects all the way down. I never, I never hit the button to save it, huh? Okay, is it the effects or is it the volume? Or music? I just gotta put both of them to zero because it's better than uh, hearing the crackle. Oh boy, that's a... Uh... That's weird though. <laughs> it's it's a little weird though. It's too quiet. Maybe I fixed it. Nope, I did not. Uh What caused it? This is gonna suck. I gotta get back to where the birds are flying at me and I'm definitely gonna get hit by one again. But yeah, look how high that, that thing of fire is right there. No wonder I'm not allowed to go the other way towards it. Man, he seems to be doing fine, I guess. Can't do anything like unplug or replug the game back in. Oh, darn it. I'm sorry, everyone's gonna have to deal with it. I know it would sound probably better without it, but. Okay, avoid the birds. I can't really like let go. Okay. That one wasn't even close to me. Oh, you know what? If it gets staticky again, I just restart. Because that seemed to solve the issue. I didn't want to let go of the parachute. So I felt like that wasn't going to help. There must be something I can do. Can I attack? I cannot. 
I don't want to attack the birds anyway. Uh. Remember when I said that I was going to do all three of them this episode? I don't know if I can. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the middle part of this one yet. Those eagles are nightmares. I managed to avoid the first one by simply losing all of my altitude. I don't know if I can walk on the island. I think I might need to land in the nest. Although, how do I get back? That's the problem now. Watch out for those eagles. They don't look friendly. Okay. How do... Then how do I avoid the eagles? Uh, they turn towards me. I don't understand. There's something I'm clearly missing. I can't wait. I hate that it starts me at the beginning. It's such a long reset. And anyone knows, I don't care that I'm failing a lot. I just care that the, the reset is long. I don't have to look this one up, do I? Uh... Uh oh. I start. I I almost missed it because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I have to reach the island. Otherwise, there's no way. There's no way for me to reach the island. The buoys out there have points I can step on, but I don't know if they'll help all, all that much. Probably on the way back. Watch out for those eagles. They don't look friendly. Uh, what the heck do I do? <laughs> What the heck do I do? It seemed like I was heading as far right as I could, but it seemed like the the eagle was following me. I don't know what I could do. There's no other oil thing here. So from here to there, it has to be a, a straight shot. But I can't fall too far, otherwise... The eagles win. But I can't fall. I can't not fall. Otherwise, the eagles will just sl slam into me. This one sucks. Oh, don't you dare say that time slowdown will help me with this. There's no way that should matter. Seeing as how the the power itself is optional. Okay, what do I do? There's like three birds that are coming after me. Should I just stay here? This is gonna set me on fire. This is gonna set me on fire. Stay out of the flame. What do I do? What do I, okay, you know what? I, I, I'm almost to the point where I'm going to look it up. Which I really hate, I hate doing for a blind run. But boy, I'm, I've been given nothing. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I 
I can't dodge the eagles because they're too fast. I can't let go of the parachute, otherwise I'll have no no air left. I can't turn back around, otherwise I'll get set on fire. So there's something that has to happen between the eagles and me that I'm just not seeing. And I'm desperately avoiding... The one thing I don't want to try is to hit them. But I might need to hit them. We haven't hit a bird yet. How's that going to work? I have I still have to leave the parachute to smack them in the face. Watch out for those eagles. They don't look friendly. Okay. See, I didn't even have my parachute out that time. Okay, let's let me see. I, I want to read the comments on, like, why did I type in slide one thermal dive? That doesn't help me. This, this is slide two. Thermal ride. Who did it in four minutes? There's surprisingly no comments on this video. All right, let's see let's see what happens. You have got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding. You're you're supposed to fly around them? Oh god, I've tried. It seemed like for this video I just watched, they were not tracking on a sly. They were just flying straight. Which is what I thought the I was going to have to do. I'm prepared to hate this mission. I'm 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 already hating it, but I'm prepared to super hate it if it's this simple. <laughs> and I'm just this dumb. I hate. I hate. I hate this. I hate this mission. Oh, God. Excellent job. If you could get that eagle egg back to the safe house, we'll be all set for the lumberjack game. I'm afraid the eagles are going to start attacking me, though. I just thought that I have to be careful with this egg, right? That's what they were saying. I mean, the thing's wide open. I feel like it's, I shouldn't get too close to it. Otherwise, I'll just get set on fire. Work, 
Sly. Hey, I hate how stupidly simple that was. Oh. oh, I feel, I feel, I feel dumber after that mission. All right. I mean, we don't really have the time, but I need a win. <laughs> I need something good to happen now. I think that mission just happened to be the perfect amount of I hate it because I, I don't know I think I think uh, everything built up so that I would think that that was incorrect when it was supposed to be correct I just got super unlucky with everything that lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the northern lights we need to shut it down or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. My hat was acting up again. <laughs> It wasn't as crazy as it was the last time. It just happened to do it enough. Oh. I haven't been hit by an icicle yet. But, you know, I don't wanna. I wanna I don't wanna test it. Climbing, Sly! You've made it up to the hatch! Ooh, I think Bentley's gonna have to do something about that. how while John Bison was giving that message to his troops, I was busy defeating all his troops. Oop, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Stop moving, Sly. He's moving on his own. It's scaring me. How do I get past this? Oh, well, that was simple. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that northern light attractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. Oh. Well, 
that was my bad. I, I forgot that this place is still booby trapped. That'll work. I guess this thing here. Ooh. Get climbing, Sly. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. I'm trying. Yeah. This is heavier than it looks. Okay, I see how the pattern goes here. Oh, I didn't see it. Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Hassan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basan's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. <laughs> we're gonna cheat. Hey, at least we tried to do it the, the proper way. Uh, who starts this mission off? I'm gonna assume Murray because he's the first one. No, it is Bentley. All right. Well, that second mission took a lot, like, seven years off my life. <laughs> uh, well, that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of Sly 2 Ben of Thieves Blind, I guess we're going to be wrapping up this place by doing Operation Canada Games. Why is it not called the Lumberjack Games? I'm surprised. Uh... And cheat our way to the Talons. I feel like we're still going to have to fight Basan, but we'll see. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>